Okay, no. What is this stuff that they're putting on the roads? No! We have to have less school. Stop salting my roads. This is a private neighborhood. Government shouldn't be allowed to do this. Stop! Hello, my name's Lanny. I'm going to be showing you how to fit more books on your bookshelf while still making it look nice and pretty. If you're also like me, you don't have room in your room for another bookshelf, so... This is a conundrum that you've gotten yourself in. How do you fit more books onto here, you may ask? Oh, well. Here, vertical stacking. It fits a bunch more books. For it to look pretty, it has to be like the same height. But then, if you wanna do vertical stacking and the things aren't the same height, so it's not gonna look pretty like this, for example, Ew. You just stack them anyways, and then you get a tall, hardcover book, and you cover that part up. Boom! No one even knows the difference. Now, I may not be able to see the books behind it, but with this way, you can kind of like see a little bit of the covers. I'm gonna leave this one here as like a barrier between the two vertical stacks. And now look at all the space we have. Try not to stack the books that are super tall. You probably have very few books that are super tall, so it's just gonna take up a bunch of space that could be held with more books. Now with this shelf, because I already have two stacks, I'm just gonna slide everything over and hope we can fit another book over there. Hope for the best, you know what I mean? It's gonna slide to the left, slide to the right. Crisscross, crisscross. Really vertical stacking just like really does it for me. If we had all of this space and then we flipped it, that's already saving a bunch of space. So, you're welcome. Another way to fit more books is to boom. If you have tall bookshelf, if you have tall bookshelves, but not tall books, you can just slide some books here at the top. If you're just hecka lucky and all the books are of the same height, then it won't look too shabby. And then another way to fit more books is if you happen to have all the same height on your bookshelf, but then you don't want to have books that are just like happen to be a random height, you just hide them. Like, boom! We have the tall books and then the short books, and then you just kind of like cover them with a really pretty cover. Not only does everything look the same height, but also you like fit more books this way. The height difference would make you waste all this space if you tried vertically stacking them, so you just kind of hide them. Now, if you're a person who doesn't like that, like you want all of your books to be seen, then I'm sorry, but you know what? I loved Crooked Kingdom, so I'm gonna use it to hide those books that I maybe not have finished or I didn't think of as that great or just happened to be not tall. But I'm a not tall person, so I understand their pain, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We're at the blue shelves now, or as I like to say, the third layer. What you do next is you pray. Pray that these books will fit because your mom's not gonna let you get another bookshelf. Warning, your books may get a little ruined during this process. But it's worth it, because you get to put more books on, on your shelf. I suggest only doing this when you have about 10 or so books that you cannot fit on your shelf, because this is a lot of work. Frick, Jane Austen, you're huge! Since I had to put more books on my second shelf, I wasn't able to move as many books to my fourth shelf. So what do you do in a situation like this? You go back to the top, because you hate yourself, and then you try to find more space to put books. In this case, I'm gonna put this freaking huge book in front of this because not only is it pretty, but also look at all the space it saves. If you see here, we have tall books that I vertically stack. You must be like, okay, Lanny, I don't care. But you know what? If I was a good teacher, I would tell you how earlier I said never stack tall books. Well, I did anyways. And what I did next was I put a really small book right next to it because you don't want a thing where it's like that. Look at all of that space that could be used to fit a book. If you're gonna stack tall books, get small books on the bottom of that stack and then get it tall enough where you can fit a small book right there. No book was harmed in this process. I'm done now. If you don't like the way these things look, you can just put a little doll right next to them. Ah! Okay, not next to that one. We'll move on. I hope my little tips helped you fit more books on your bookshelf. Thanks for watching.